Hey Crafty Peeps, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a shabby chic butterfly. Um, this one's going to be uh, really um, involved, but it is going to be rather easy. Um, anybody could do it. I would suggest, you know, I would suggest doing a little practice with the polymer clay. And this is just white, sculpy polymer clay. Um, it's sculpty number three, and it's in white. Now, what I done was earlier, this is already baked and stuff. I had created a body uh, for my butterfly. And what I done basically was just take the polymer clay and I molded the body the way I wanted to do it. You know, you just make a little long body and you just make the body first and then you're going to take a little piece and you're going to make the head into a round ball like so and then you're just going to attach the body now it's going it would take a while to um form this piece but with practice this took me three tries so with practice, I finally got it the way I wanted it. Now the lines you see here are done by using some stylus tools. And you can go back through after you've baked it and you can really define the uh, lines if you want it to. And just clean them up. Now here on the sides, you see that I made holes. And these holes are going to hold the wires to the wings. So I'm going to, uh, I made holes before I baked, so I just used my stylus and done that. Now, here I took my larger stylus that I have, and I just simply pressed in where I'm going to put um, Swarovski crystal. Um, rhinestones here and they should fit just like that but I want to um, rub over the body here and I want to do that using uh, Gilder's paste which is in the color of white so I'm just going to take a little bit onto my finger here and I'm just going to rub it into the piece here. Now some people would say we'll paint it or whatever. I could do that. I'm just rubbing it into the, the creases here really well. Gilder's paste is like a um, a wax or a, a shoe polish style product that really works on a lot of surfaces, metals especially. And I figured it would work great on polymer. I've never tried it on polymer, which it seems to do great. Now, I'm not going to tell you my little thing here is perfect because, as you can see, there are creases in it and everything. But that also gives him a little character, the shabby, not so perfect little character. But just simply, what it's going to take is some molding and work with the polymer you know you start out with the body here and you want to take that'll be the tail and then you take your finger and you start making the neck well here's the main part of the body and you can taper the tail off and you just have to work with it and then you can take your blade and cut off the neck part that's where the round head would go and then here 
you would taper off and then you would take your stylus and you would start putting those lines in there. I'm doing this rather quickly. Start putting the lines in there for the tail like that. And then you would take a little bit more of the polymer and you would make the the head. Now, one trick I have found is if you scratch where the head is going to attach like this, and then you scratch where you're going to attach it, and then you put it on there like that, that gives it a little bit of a bite. And then you can take a blending tool and the tools I'm using here, like this black one is from Sculpey. These I found on eBay and you're just going to take it and blend the head into the body like that. And again, it, you're going to have to mold it and play with it like this took me three tries but once you get it you know once you get it you can form the the tail and the body of the the butterfly or you can make it into a dragonfly so it will take you some tries but those are some basic steps of what you can do um, as far as forming again practice 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 Okay, so now that I have my butterfly um, ready, I am going to put the Swarovski crystals in, and I'm going to be using, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some E6000, let me get that, where did E6000 leave? Did I put it in here? Here's a new glue. Yeah, here we go. I wanted to try this one. This one was a free gift from Fire Mountain Beads. And it's a little bitty container of super glue. Itty bitty bitty bitty. And um, I wanted to try it and see, you know, sometimes E6000 is messy. So I wanted to try this little tiny tube of um, super glue. Well, does it have like a little? There it goes. All right. Oh, nice. Goes right there. Now these are about a four millimeter, maybe six millimeter. I will have to exactly measure it. I have my little gauge somewhere. But it all depends on how big you want your, the eyes of your butterfly. Isn't that pretty? I love Swarovski crystals. Sometimes I invest in them because they are like make everything so beautiful. Sometimes you have to invest in, you know, little things like that because they make all the difference. Isn't that pretty? So, I'm going to let him dry and I'm going to get the products to prepare and show you how to do the wings. But that's the body of the butterfly. But just like that. So, if you're not, uh, never used polymer clay, I would try just getting you a block of white and start playing with it. Um, and, uh, have fun and try different little things like that so 
All right, so I'm going to get that prepared for you, and I will be right back. Okay, I've been drawing the wings, um, the wings the way that I want them, and now what you're going to do is I'm going to cut this drawing out. Now you can get um, different butterfly patterns free on Google, um, coloring pages, or whatever. But if you draw them on your own, which will take some practice, but you can draw them. So basically, that's what it's going to look like. This is going to be the um, the top, and this is going to be the bottom. Now I need to do the other side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and trace my drawing and I will have this pattern for free over on my blog at angelaholtdesigns.com so that you can if you want to make one like me you can use my drawing If you have a vision, it's not hard to, I know a lot of people find drawing daunting, but if you think about it and you, you know, erase and practice and retrace like you saw that I did, I traced over it several times trying to get my curvature, you can practice and draw. That's how I learned to draw shapes and stuff was just mere practice. And then there are some things I just absolutely cannot draw and I don't attempt them so I'm doing this for to show you exactly what the butterfly is going to look like you won't need to draw um, cut them out four times but I'm just showing you exactly what the butterfly is going to look like so let's see yeah, it's basically going to look like that. And then the body of the butterfly will be in there. So it's going to be a big butterfly. And of course, you can scale that down if you want to by simply cutting the pattern down. But that's exactly what it's going to, the size it's going to look like, basically. So you're just going to kind of butt the flat parts up right there and then the little the body of the butterfly will be like that okay so I'm gonna keep these so I can make you all that pattern and have it available now what you're going to do next now this is um, adhesive uh, felt so you're going to have to trace out and cut out four of each pattern. You're going to have to do it on the front and then you're going to have to flip it over. And do that side then you're going to have to flip it over again and do it two more times you're going to have to do that for all for both pieces so you're going to need eight pieces total okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace all these out 
and then I'm going to cut them out. Now this is adhesive back um, felt. You can purchase it at local scrapbook stores. You can also get it at Amazon. And I think eBay has it too. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So you're going to need four of those and you're going to need four of these. Okay, so I will be back with all of these pieces cut out. All right. Okay, now that I have both of the pieces uh, cut out on all of them, you're going to have to make a wire base. Now, Fiona Jennings made some beautiful, stunning fairy wings. And she made them, uh, I think, a couple of years ago. And they were just absolutely gorgeous. So I am taking the wireframe concept from her, but I'm doing it different. But I encourage you to go over to her channel and look up fairy wings. Oh, my gosh. They're so gorgeous. My daughter wants, wants a pair. I don't know if I can achieve those as good as Fiona did. I've been trying, but, you know, it's practice, practice. Um, but that just shows years of crafting that she has under her belt. It just it just flows out of her. So what I done was is I'm taking a, a, a 18 gauge wire, craft wire, and all you're going to do you got to make opposite. So you got to do uh, flip it over, do one for this side, okay. And then you've got to flip it over and do one for this side. Or you can do one. You're going to make two wire frames for each set. So that's one. And then you're going to make another one for this side. So basically that's what you're going to do. So you're just going to take it. And you're going to kind of bend it outward just to fit the just to fit just on the inner edge. You want an edge left because you want, you're going to glue those down. So and then you're going to sandwich it together. But you'll do it, and I'll show you that in a minute. So we've done one for this set right here, and then here on this set, all you're going to do is take your wire. Excuse me, my allergies are just crazy today. I woke up with a scratchy throat. Ugh. Okay, you're going to do it like that. And you're going to bend it. You're just going to follow the pattern of the wing here. And then you're going to twist, twist twist now when you twist you're going to make a long enough tail there and you'll see why here in just a moment just twist you can always snip it off okay and then there you go you have your patterns they all don't have to be perfect something just fell oh my ruler okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to peel the backing off of one and you're going to lay this down Just inside there. Then you're going to peel this off. And if you're off just a little bit, you can reposition. And as you see,
I am going to trim away some of the adhesive. Look at there. I love adhesive back felt. The seams are seamless, beautiful, and then there's one wing and you can bend it and mold it and do whatever. And you have your wire frame inside. So let's do a little one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to lay it down just like that. And again, you'll be able to get this pattern on my website at AngelaHoltDesigns.com. Okay, then you can trim away just to even it up a little bit. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so we're going to finish up. these just if you have trouble finding the um the felt let me know because i can order it from my distributor i'm going to start offering a few products again just certain things that I like. See what I like about it is you can, it's sticky, let me tell you. There we go. Again, you want to trim away. I'm doing this video early this morning because we're supposed to have some bad storms today here in Tennessee. We had a nasty one yesterday. I was in the middle of fixing to do uh, this tutorial. And I've also got another tutorial coming up I'm going to do. And um, it got so dark here. I opened up my window behind me and it got so dark that the neighbor turned on her um, car lights to go down the street and I was like oh snap I better pay attention to this storm uh, I've lived here all my life here in Tennessee and I have been through six tornadoes and uh, they're they're scary let me tell you you never get used to them, but you do get used to the warning signs. You know, you can read the the clouds. The clouds will tell you anything. You can listen to it and the smells and everything, the temperature changes, everything. It's kind of like, you know, people in hurricane um, alleys. They just can smell it. It's just in the air yesterday it wasn't tornadic but it was pretty rough it was more straight line winds okay so now we have our felted and wired butterfly and see let me see yeah I'm going to trim this. Sometimes you have to go back and retrim, which is absolutely fine. And see what you're going to do is you're going to butt those right up to there like this. You're going to butt them up just like that. Okay? Now, 
here's the body. Now I did make two holes and you can um, you can put the holes in like that. Or what I'm thinking might be better. I made the holes, but I'm wondering. Let me try something here. See, that's going to look pretty. The holes are probably not going to work. So, I'm going to come up with a different idea. So, I will be right back. I'm going to have him fix. I'm going to fill these holes and come back with a different way I want to mount him to here. Because the wings have to go on top of the butterfly. All right, I'll be right back. See, I got to rethink a few things too, so I'll be right back. Okay, so, all right, I filled in the the holes and everything, and I painted it with a little bit of silver and also liquid pearls. This is the platinum color. Um, it's for decorating paper and fabric. Uh, liquid pearls is a Ranger product, and Lola, if you're watching, it still has your old store um low uh, tag on it tells you how long i've had it but it still works beautifully okay so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover the 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 wings and then i'll figure out how i want to um attach them to the butterfly okay the first thing i want to do is i got this pink um lace here and i'm going to just i was thinking of putting that on there and then this is a piece of wedding dress applique and then putting that on top so that's what i'm doing i'm only going to do the front side so i'm just going to trim off what i need and i'm going to take my detail tip glue gun let me put a glue stick in there and I'm just going to glue those down along the edges. Like that. It doesn't take much. And this is called a Sure Bonder Detail Tip Glue Gun. And you can get them at Joann's, Michael's. Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get them online at Amazon. I get a lot of questions about it. So here you're just going to trim away the excess. And I'm not going to do the back because the back is not going to be seen that much because you can use the butterfly um, clipping it on things or whatever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a section of this embroidery. And again, very lightly. going to adhere that down. Now you're going to do this for all four. So I'll be right back with all four of these layered in the exact same way using the exact um, same material. Okay, and then right here a little pearl is loose, so I'm just going to glue that down like that. 
and then you're going to very gently trim away just like so and trim the edges and there you go isn't it beautiful alright so I'm going to do all four of those and I will be right back Okay, all four pieces are covered, as you can see. Now the dilemma. I was sitting here looking, and I think the best thing to do is to glue the wings onto the body like this. And with that said, I'm going to clip off this metal piece. I think with a little more ingenuity, um, you could come up with a, a better way, but it sets flush to the butterfly body. So I'm just going to put a, a dollop of glue and I'm going to hold it there. like so and then on the back side I'm also going to add glue okay now I'm going to do the second side and you want to bring it up onto the body like this more. So I'm going to clip this off. And because of the metal, we can bend the wing. Okay. I'm going to apply the glue. To there and then make sure you can see me. Okay, also on to the back there. Again, you can revamp this if you want. Okay, now the next piece, remember it's got to butt, so I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to put it right there in that corner. And just hold it. And I'm going to do a little more to the 
the body of the butterfly, but right now I just want to make sure my wings are on there. And then the last piece, again, you're going to butt up right in there. Just like that. Okay, so now what you can do is bend the wings like that. See? Okay. And now you have a beautiful butterfly with the body. And if you want, you can bring them up a little bit more like that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just trim away any of the, the excess glue. Sorry. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. All right, so I'm going to go get my glitter. And a clip so that I can figure out how I want to um, clip this. Also, I want to make some um, antennas. So I'll be right back uh, with those steps. Okay, I decided to take little baby rhinestones and I'm individually applying them to the back of the butterfly body. in no particular pattern and I want to kind of uh, I start it thick up here and then I want to kind of cascade thinly down the um, the body here Just like that. And I'm using the same glue that I glued the um, crystals in the eyes with. Those little samples are really good for projects like this. Um, it definitely took the whole tube for this project, but little samples like that are awesome. So I'm just gluing. And these are extremely tiny rhinestones, probably two millimeter. That glue dries fast. Put a little bit more. thing about rhinestones uh, one stuck on my finger it's 
So with this concept here, you can do, you can, you know, modify it in so many ways. And, um, and get some great results. Isn't that pretty? Looks like a vintage brooch um, down the back of the, the butterfly there. All right, put one there, and I'm going to put one there. Okay, now on the head, as you see, I just done the top of the head there. I didn't see it necessary to um, keep going down the, all the way around. I'm going to put one right there on the side. All in the details, ladies. All in the details. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm going to set these aside. Now, I had the, I don't know where I got these little wires, but I did. And uh, they're just, they were just really, really thin pieces of curly wire that I kept. And uh, I'm going to take some glue here. Put one on that side. And I'm going to stick them right in there. And I'm going to need something to prop this up with. So. Probably what I'm going to use is that. So you're going to definitely, the antennas, you're definitely going to need something to prop them up with. And then you're butterfly is finished pretty much Ouch. I'm gonna flatten that there we go it looks like a vintage um, butterfly so I'm gonna let that set a few minutes and stuff so all right so if you have any questions about any of the steps that I have showed you today on how to make this butterfly please let me know um, please stay for detailed photos I'll have detailed photos at the end of the video and like always please 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 share like and subscribe if you haven't done so already um, by sharing and liking um, Again, it helps my channel and everything, and I appreciate all of the wonderful comments and questions that y'all come up with uh, for me. Again, I get to them as quick as I can, um, but I will answer them most definitely. And if I haven't answered a question in like a week, just re-ask re me and uh, put in large caps. Um, your question so that I can see it. Um, I think that is a lot better. So if you do have a question, put it in large caps for me to be able to see because I get so many notifications every day. So, and I do apologize if I haven't answered any of your questions. Um, and like always, um, Thank you so much, and I do hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial. I think anybody can do it, and it's really easy and really simple steps, and you can make a bunch of these and clip them onto a Christmas tree. You can clip them onto bags for, as gifts. You can clip them onto anything, and you can get like those little, we call them roach clips or whatever, or you can get one of like a regular clip like this with a hook or clip 
you know, and you can glue it to the underneath of the body of the butterfly so that you'd be able to clip um, the butterfly to lots of things. So, um, again, I want to thank you so much. And uh, like always, I'll see you in the next crafty video. Bye-bye.